There are many kinds of addition strategies. I'm going to focus on a couple today to give you some unique out-of-the-box ways of thinking about how you can add without using the traditional algorithm. The first strategy I want to show you today is the count on strategy. Sometimes people think of this as a number line as well. Remember, children learn addition in a couple of different ways. They start by first counting all, right? So if we take the example of five plus four, and you'll see students that will show you on their fingers, you know, I have five and I add four more. And the funny thing about it is they won't say five, six, seven, eight, nine. They'll actually count them all, right? If you ask a four or a five-year-old child, they'll say, okay, well, I have one, two, three, four, five. And they keep forgetting or they don't understand yet that they know they have five fingers, so they can start with six. This is a very similar strategy to this. So children start by counting all, then they learn to count on, and then the last step is they learn to break numbers apart or decompose them and use these partial sums. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute as well. Okay, so let me show you the count on strategy for 146 plus 88. We're going to start with either number. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and start with 88. And I know that I need to count on 146. Um, I can do this using a couple of different ways. I could get to a friendly number and think of it that way. In this case, I have 100. I'm going to easily add that on. So I'm going to add 100. So now I have, I'm up to 188. Now I've still got this 46 left over. Hmm, I'm thinking about how I can, I don't know what 188 plus 46 is. Again, I don't want to do any separate addition down here. If you're doing that, you're doing too much work. Be lazier. So I'm going to think about, I know that I could, if I only had two more, I could get to 190. So I'm going to take two from this six, and I'm going to add two to get to 190. And um, then I'm just going to keep my little four up here, just so I remember that, because I know that two plus four was my six. I don't know what 190 plus 40 is, but I know that if I added 10, I could get to 200, and that's a much friendlier number. Okay. So again, I have 10 and I have a little 30, so I'm going to add on 30 more. So now I get to 230, and I can look at my numbers up here to see do I equal 146 yet. So 100 plus 2 plus 10 plus 30, so this is 40, 42. I'm at 142, I need to get to 146. So I'm going to hop or add on 4 more to get 234. And I've used both of these up here. So my answer would be 234. The beauty of this strategy is that it really allows students to um, operate at where they are thinking mathematically and allows them to think differently. So let's say you had a student that started at 146, which would also work. In this case, if you're starting at 146, we're going to count on 88, right? Okay, so um, I am, it's not easy for me to add 80 to this but I want to get to a friendlier number first. So I'm going to add on 4 to get to 150. As long as this line up here adds to 88, I know I'm good. So um, next is 150. I'm going to go ahead and add on 50 because that will get me to 200. Now I see I'm at 54. I've still got to go another 30 so I can easily add 30. By the way, notice that my hops are not proportionally spaced or proportionally drawn. That's okay. Um, that's kind of one of the beauties of this strategy is that younger children can do it without attending to that exact precision, precision in their proportionality in their hops. Okay, so now I have 230. I'm looking up here and I see I have 84. I need to get to 88. So I'm going to add hop four more to get to 234. You can see these are only two different ways to solve that same problem. You could come up with lots more. The next strategy I want to show you is one that's really great for mental math, and that's partial sums. Partial sums allows us to break apart our two add-ins by place value and then find the sums of each of those place value add-ins. So I have 100, and I notice that in 80 I don't have any 100, so I'm just going to write 0 and get 100. I have 40 plus 80, which I know... Um, 20 plus 80 is 100, plus an additional 20 gives me 120. And then I have 6 plus 8. Again, I'm going to make a 10 strategy. Take 2 from the 6 and make this 10. So I have 4 plus 10, which is 14. I can add these all together and easily get 234. That's partial sum. The last strategy I want to show you is called modified add-ins. 
So in this case, I have 146 plus 88. And it's too bad that this wasn't a nice, friendlier number because it would be easier to add. I'm thinking about if this number was 150, that would be much easier for me to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add 4 there. So now I'm changing my problem to 150 plus 88. Now, I can't just add something without subtracting it later. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add this and then subtract it out the bottom. So 150 plus 8, I know, is go or 88 is going to give me 238. And then I need to subtract out this same 4 down here, and I get 234. This strategy works better for some, other, some numbers than others, but you kind of get the picture of how you could use it um, in your life. I hope you found this video helpful and you have some new addition strategies in your back pocket.